Christmas greetings. In this special season of the year, many of us are praying for peace. Many are clinging to hope. Many are seeking to share love. But are we still missing one of the most important elements of Christmas? When the angels announced the birth of Christ, they assured the shepherds that they were bringing good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. The message of Christ come to earth should not just be a source of joy, but of great joy. But how do you experience great joy when a loved one will be missing from the table this Christmas? How do you experience great joy when the doctor gave a diagnosis you never anticipated? How do you experience great joy when a job is lost or a ministry dies? For our sisters in Ukraine, how do you experience great joy when bombs are falling around you and fear is a constant companion? Over the last year, I've had the opportunity to set foot on four continents and to meet women living through the most challenging of circumstances. As I listened to their stories, there was a thread running through each that superseded the suffering, a thread of joy. We find this joy in the Christmas story as well. When Elizabeth first sees Mary in Luke chapter 1, she declares, As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Even the womb could not restrain the witness of John the Baptist. You see, joy is not tied to one's position in life nor one's present circumstances. It is the gift of knowing who is present with us no matter what we are facing. If an unborn child can dance for joy in the presence of an unborn Savior, surely we can arise with joyful hearts today in praise of Emmanuel, God with us, the one who never leaves us nor forsakes us, the one who chose us as his own. When we set our hearts on such good tidings, how can we not choose joy? As Henry Nguyen reminds us, joy does not simply happen to us. We have to choose joy and keep choosing it every day. It is a choice based on the knowledge that we belong to God and have found in God our refuge and our safety and that nothing can take God away from us. It is the experience of knowing that you are unconditionally loved and that nothing, sickness, failure, emotional distress, oppression, war, or even death, can take that love away. During a visit to Liberia in August, I was blessed to pray, worship, and learn alongside my beautiful African sisters. Though many in attendance were carrying unimaginable burdens, I witnessed unwavering joy. And they invited me to join them in that expression. While I have never been known for my dancing ability, I was invited to dance for joy. And dance I did. No matter what you are facing today, I want to invite you to the dance to turn your heart this Christmas to the good tidings of great joy spoken 2,000 years ago that still ring true for each of us today. On behalf of our entire Baptist World Alliance Women family, a sisterhood spanning more than 150 countries and territories, Merry Christmas. May the joy of the Lord be your strength in this season and in the year to come.